Hello, I'm Joe Camp. I've been practicing endodontics in North Carolina for over 40 years and teaching part-time during my entire career. Let's take a few moments and talk about management of perforations while doing root canal treatment. Fortunately, we have materials available today which allow us to salvage what previously might have been untreatable or at best had a poor prognosis. Here we see a case where there's a perforation into the furca as the dentist was searching for the mesial canals. And finding the canals in this case was one of the hardest parts of treating this kind of case. Here we have one of the canals on the mesial root and here is a file in the second canal on the mesial root. And once the canals are cleaned out here and the canals are filled with gutta percha, we then come back and seal the perforation with Pro Root MTA. Now you must, while you're filling these root canals, put a piece of cotton or something over the perforation site in order to avoid pushing materials into the perforation site. And if you inadvertently do that, then you simply must go in and clean them out and have a clean, a clean site of application for the MTA. Here's a clinical case showing the treatment as we do it. This is a perforation on a lower molar and here the perforation has been cleaned up and we're now ready to apply the MTA. The application of the MTA is best done with a small amalgam carrier which has been filled and then part of the plug of MTA has been extruded and leaving part of the plug within the carrier. This is dropped over the, the perforation site and then a wet cotton pellet is used to very lightly tamp the MTA into place and to clean away the excess MTA. Once we've done that, we then want to make sure that our canals are still open and we place a wet cotton pellet over the MTA and seal the tooth with the temporary. We'll come back in this in several days and open the tooth, remove the, cotton, the temporary and the cotton pellet and probe the MTA to make sure it's hard with a sharp instrument. We can now proceed to fill the root canals with our filling material. This case illustrates a perforation that we're going to seal with Pro Root MTA. You notice that in filling the root canals, gutta percha was forced into the furca, and you notice the lesion in the furca. In order for this to heal, we have to remove all of that gutta percha that's in the furca. This necessitates sometimes that we actually make the perforation bigger and remove it. I do not like to lay a flap in these cases because I find the healing is not as good as when I do it internally. But we remove the gutta percha, applied the MTA, and the tooth is then temporarily restored and will later be crowned if this heals. Here we see the tooth 18 months after the treatment and you can see the furcal lesion is gone and the tooth is healed. Thus we maintain the tooth which in the past would have had a very poor prognosis. These cases show how you can seal perforations with Pro Root MTA and achieve long-term success. I'm Joe Camp for Chair Time.